Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video we're going to do an easy cook Mediterranean stew. stew. And we're going to be using something new for the pair of us. We're going to be cooking on a Kadai Indian fire bowl. So talk us through the ingredients for this dish, Richard. Really simple. Um, you've got some, we're going to start off with some oil, put the red onion and the garlic in the wok just to start that cooking process and, and kind of cook off the garlic a little bit. Then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. We've got some red pepper, some yellow pepper, some ch uh, finely diced chili. We've got some capers in here as well. Aubergine courgette. Uh, we've got some chopped tomatoes, tin chopped tomatoes, full tin. And then we're gonna add half a tin of water to the mixture just to add a little bit of extra volume. Uh, partway through the cooking, we're going to add some basil, some fresh basil, uh, pick the leaves off, chop the stalks kind of thing. And then we'll serve that with some toasted bread, toasted crusty bread at the end. So if we are ready, yep. we'll go over to our fire bowl. A little bit of wok around the outside. A little bit of wok, a little bit of oil around the side of the wok. And then um, we're going to start off with our onion and our garlic. Now, we are going to cook this like a stew. So we have got a bit of sizzle. I don't want a massive amount of sizzle at this point because I don't want things to burn. I don't want them to seal on the outside. I want them to um, soften and cook nicely so that we have a nice finished dish at the end. So just tumble that around a little bit. Now the way that you can control or have an idea on how hot your barbecue is, your, your fire bowl, is Obviously, if you do this, just move your hand out if it gets too hot, and don't touch the bottom of the wok when you're doing this. But if you put the hand, your hand at the height of the bottom of the wok, and you can't hold your hand there for more than five seconds, you've got a good, what we would call in the industry, a good grilling temperature. If you can hold your hand there for up to 10 seconds, you've got a good roasting temperature. So grilling is normally around about 250, and roasting is around about two, two, 200. Um, so you want to be able to hold your hand there a little bit, you are going to have to, if you're familiar with the other barbecues that, we, that uh, you stock here at the uh, barbecue shop, they're generally lid down, so you're not having to yeah. combat any breezes that come through. So with this style of cooking, you do have that consideration to bear in mind. So make sure that this is, if it's particularly breezy, just make sure it's as sheltered as possible. Um, and then you will have a better chance of getting more of that heat into the bowl. So, but actually... If you're thinking he's not wearing a glove, when your hand is above the wok, you're behind a heat deflector. So a lot of the heat is going up and around, and the heat is actually quite manageable at the moment and quite bearable. So, but obviously, if you need to wear a glove, then wear a glove. Right, we've softened these down. So let's get our oregano in, and then we'll get the rest of these guys in here. And if I can get the other dish of vegetables from you there, yeah, of course you can. <coughs> Okay. There you go. So aubergine and courgette going in. This is going to stew, so just give it a bit of, leave a little bit of size to those pieces of vegetables because they're going to take a little bit of time to cook down. And then what we'll do as well tomatoes. is we're going to take our chopped tomatoes and there we go. We'll take half a can of water. We'll pop a little bit of salt in there just to season our veggies. And a little bit of pepper as well. So let's just give this a good stir. The liquid is already starting to look to the boil so we've got a good temperature underneath. And then once that is all nicely combined, we're just going to leave that until the sauce thickens a little bit and the vegetables soften. soften. So I'm thinking a good 20 minutes, half an hour, we'll come back. We'll keep an eye on the fire all the way through. With this kind of fire, you do need to make sure that you're keeping an eye on the fire management. Uh, we've got the main core of the fire under the bowl. So we've got uh, a disc of of uh, lit coals underneath the bowl, but we've also got, just around this edge, we've put some fresh coals in, just to kind of light gradually, so that as we need to replenish, we're putting warm, slightly yeah. lit coals onto that uh, central pile, and we can just keep that fire 
drip fed with new fuel. So just keep an eye on that. It is a bit more uh, involved, but it's, uh, it's a great way to cook. So we'll leave that about 20 minutes, half an hour, and we'll, we'll come back. Right, so we have our easy Mediterranean stew. We popped a lid on just because we have one, and we also wanted to help keep the heat in. So that's just been on for the last 25 or so minutes. The stew has cooked down nicely. Now, in that bowl to your left, Ian, it's the, yep. the basil. All we've done with this is pick the leaves off. So they're going to go straight in. And we've just taken the stalks and we've just chopped those down. We just ran a knife through those and just chopped them down. And I think it just gives a bit of a nicer finish um, if you have the bits of leaf separate to the stalks rather than just having big strands of, of basil uh, stem and everything going through there. So, But if you want to pop the, the whole sprigs in, then you absolutely can. So that is nicely reduced now the nice thing about this is this actually stays cool to the touch or it has in our experience so just be but just be careful if you need to uh, remove it just have a quick check but what we're going to do now is just take this off here bring this whole thing over to the support the, the ring support which just goes on the table and then we can very simply take those ring those chains and the hooks off there and just pop those down there for two seconds that is our, oh, and also we've got some toast here, haven't yep. we? We've just got some uh, little uh, olive oil toasted, ha oh, crusty bread. So, where's the tasting forks? Here we go. So here we've got our little easy Mediterranean vegetable stew, uh, cooked on the cat eye fireball. Smells really it good, smells doesn't really it? Smells really good, yeah. I mean, this is, this is your simple ratatouille, your, your classic ratatouille. Um, and if, if in doubt, if you don't have one of the ingredients, just leave it out. If you have an extra one, if you have green beans, pop them in. If it's, if it's May and you have asparagus, pop them in towards the end of cooking. Um, but this is, this is almost a bit of a, a fridge cupboard raid stew for your vegetables. So let's just have a little taste and adjust the seasoning if we need to do. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's lovely. That is really, really good. And the beauty about the cat eye is that once you've finished cooking on it, take the tripod off the top, two people lift it up and you've got a lower stand, don't you? So yes, you, can you want to drop like it down, fireball. it becomes a fireball. It's, you can sit around and it's a nice casual evening social thing to do. So, so if you want to find out the recipe for this dish, <sighs> visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. It's really nice, that bread's I'm lovely. I'm just going to have a little bit. If you want to find out about the cat eyes and the cat eye range and the possibilities you can do with the cat eye, pop in, see the team here at the barbecue shop. Mm. It's good. Mm. So all that's left for us to do is say thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.